Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Star Seed Chats. I'm Lily Nova, and we have Dr. Charnel here with us this evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming on. So, so freaking happy to be here with you. Love it. <laughs> and all you guys, some of you were just on my last, my last interview, and you decided to come over. So I'm excited to see you again. That's awesome. Y'all have to check out that other one. Um, yeah, a lot of familiar faces. We've got Victor, Lakeside Laura, of course, and Robert White, uh, Hopewell hey, Farms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Robert's Robert's going to be on your channel tomorrow night, isn't he? Tomorrow. Yes, at noon. Robert, it's our first time to be on. And I need to get you on the show, too. I mean, we're going to have to get some dates. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> so... Um, I, I kind of see, I've seen you around a little bit and then we just connected on Instagram. I'm really excited to get to, um, know you better, but so Dr. Charnel is an author and a speaker. She wrote, uh, a few books. One of them is the science of miracles. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to have like a doctor on our side, you know, going with the awakening, somebody with, you know, that that's done the schooling, um, and has that title. So thank you. <laughs> And you, I was watching a, another interview by you earlier, and this one was kind of old, but you also had a religious upbringing. I wouldn't say upbringing, but there was a period, yeah, a good a good twenty years of, wow. of being in full time ministry. Yeah. Wow, that's super interesting. I get a lot of uh, a decent amount of people who um, who. They're, either their family is like that or they grew up like that. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're crossing over because there's a lot of programming with that. So there, there is, it's, it's, and that's why I'm, I'm, yeah, that's why I got out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. Chanel? Sure. Um, uh, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me. I've seen you around a little bit too, and um, was you know I actually saw you on Instagram, and I was like, oh, I like that, I like that, and then mm -hmm. you reached out, and I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. So mm -hmm. uh, I love whenever we all find each other, and it's fun. And then Robert was going to be on the show tomorrow, and then we chatted a couple minutes, and then he was like, oh, I saw you're going to be on Lily's show, and I know I, I didn't know everybody knows each other, but it's like some degree of separation somewhere we're all like we know each other anyway we're all one but uh yeah do we have a doctor in the house that's so funny laura you go um, <laughs> so yeah i mean i i'm sure you you might know some some of you guys might know a little bit about my background um my dad military uh i was actually part of some stuff as a kid from 73 to 76 in montauk that wasn't fun, but it was, I used it all for even where I am now. Um, did not grow up in the church. Um, my parents were military and we, or my dad was, and we traveled a lot and, you know, we didn't have a, I didn't, wasn't exposed to any of that really. Um, but when I moved to Louisiana here in the States, um, cause I was overseas a lot, uh, Europe and, uh, well, I say Europe, England and Germany specifically, Mm -hmm. and a couple times London and and then in the northern part of the state so I'm originally from Montana I'm actually right up the road from Laura and uh, some of you guys know Laura Eisenhower she's my very best friend and she's oh wow um, we've been friends a long time and uh, she just lives right up the road so we you know we're, we're just doing our thing and um but yeah, I, I haven't lived in Montana for a while. Uh, we have our place still there and we go back and forth. So I kind of like jump from here, Florida and Montana, here's Louisiana. And I just kind of mm -hmm. travel and um, I've been working with wellness centers all over and a lot of overseas stuff and speaking at conferences. But um, yeah, I, I started ministry in 1999, um, mm -hmm. started um, doing conference speaking. I was on TV for two or three, uh, three years uh, in North America on the uh, S Sky Angel, the Miracle Channel, some of those. I don't even know if they're around anymore, but um, and had like a talk show type thing where I would teach and then they would come to my conferences and film live. So my, my conferences were also on there. And um, but yeah, I, I kind of had to um, 
just get out of that mm -hmm. kind of situation. Um, God bless everybody wherever we're at. And for me, it just wasn't a fit anymore with some of the things. Uh, I absolutely adore God. God is awesome. I believe in source and mm -hmm. I love source code. And um, so that's kind of more the direction that I'm in. But I actually got into the naturopathic part because traveling for all that time and being on six planes a week uh, for 17 years straight, uh, I was working like 120 hours a week for a long, long, long time. And it just caught up with me and I was like super sick and went to doctors for like six years trying to get better. That wasn't really working. The whole Western thing wasn't working for me. Uh, that's all I knew because military, you know, you know, you're pretty much shot up and brought to doctors and whatever. But mm -hmm. um, in the end, uh, I kind of went a different direction and um went and saw a natural uh, an md who's also a naturopathic doctor yeah and um when we started working on frequency machines like rife and um biomats and spooky and genius and i mean there's so many things out there a million times over and it's been around since like the 70s actually the 30s but even when i grew up this stuff was around and used in these um, underground places and above ground and the elites use them. But these, um, are you talking, you're talking about frequency machine? Oh yeah, they understand frequency. Oh, can uh -huh. you tell, can you tell us more about the, the frequency machines? That's very interesting. There's all kinds of frequency. I mean, there's the Rife's, there's um, software genius. Like you, you can even send stuff remote. That's a lot of what I work biofeedback where I can di do diagnostics and see where you're at with, hormones, EEGs, you know, all your organs, your teeth, your spine, uh, emotions, if there's entities involved or a spiritual attack, um, if there's EMF issue, issues um, or uh, Wi-Fi or UHF or food sensitivities. So, I mean, there, there's 30 reports There's and you can do way more than that, but I usually limit it to 30 and just work with people um, but we're 67 megahertz and mm -hmm. the higher that we can be on, you know, 67 on a healthy adult day, the higher we can be, uh, you know, good vibes are real. And, um, it, but if you drop below 67, you're opening yourself up to be, to have more susceptible things, um, come in the field, mm -hmm. uh, especially entities. Entities are at a 25, which is dead. After you hit 25, it takes three weeks to get to zero, but entities are 25 and lower. So if you entertain or hang out with anything low vibe, literally you open the door in the field to these entities that can, you know, mm -hmm. do stuff. So, um, you know, wow. using frequency, we can boost the body to a, a higher level and really work with someone to, to bring literally their vibration up. Um, you know, our cells are the code of God and that is the highest frequency of all, but most of us aren't tapped into it or aligned to it, or we need to detox really bad or really mm -hmm. good, I should say, to, to clear the body so we can do what we're supposed to, you know, um, yeah. I hope that helps answer questions. No, yeah, that's great. And thank you, Kearns and David for the super stickers. I appreciate it. Victor asks if he can get a checkup. He'd be curious. Is this something that you can do um, virtually too? Yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the time we do stuff remote in Australia, all over, all over. Um, I just need some basic things and it'll do diagnostics and then it'll also send your customize frequencies back to you so it starts the process rolling already and people feel it i i felt it the first time well still to this day i feel it but the very first time that they worked on me um was from a state away and i didn't even know they were doing it but it literally was like oh my gosh and i looked at my husband i said something's going on and when i called dr lucky later after i was slept for like 12 hours straight sitting mm -hmm. up on the couch with the lights on. Um, I was like, you must, you must have just did something. And he had just texted me right before two o'clock and said, I'm about to start. Wow. Um, but I didn't get the text until after. So I was like, whoa, did I feel that? I mean, I was conked out. And I, I think like if they can do that for the positive, what are they doing 
otherwise, you know, so this is a good source for us to really kick in and use what we can. Most of it's very off the market. Uh, a lot of this stuff I don't have on my website just because I've mm -hmm. seen them come take stuff away. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I work with doctors that are in jail or what have you, or just like completely gone. So, right. Yeah. I was actually thinking about being a naturopathic doctor. I got my dietetics degree and that was my like introduction to, so I, I was a nutritionist after the UFOs started coming, then, you know, I kind of switched careers, but going into nutrition um, in the health field, but holistic health, just that, that was my first awakening, you know, doing research projects on that, you know, why is America, why is everybody so unhealthy, anxious, depressed, um, overweight, all of these are heart disease is the number one killer. Um, and it, it all comes down to like diet and there's other factors too, you know, your environment, um, and things like that. But that just really started opening my eyes to how corrupt the system is and how corrupt the food industry, big pharma, I've got bones to pick with them. <laughs> so, uh, that's, yeah, once you start doing some digging, and I think a lot of people are going to kind of be forced to wake up that way because they start getting sick. I was forced to um, to learn diet because I was having issues and no doctor could tell me like, you know, how how to fix them. So I started keeping a food log and then, and then I started learning nutrition um, because it is, it can be pretty confusing. But, you know, I was amazed by how much better I felt whenever I started, you know, learning about it and taking things into consideration. I'm looking around at everybody like, man, you know, they feel bad because of this, feel bad because of that. So, um, yeah, that's that. I, so I feel a lot of people are going to kind of be forced awake because of things like that, experiencing symptoms or, you know. Yeah. yeah and I always tell people like, why wait until it's life or death? Like, why aren't we, you know, let wake up now and start doing some things every day um, to support yourself. So you're not waiting for that diagnosis, you know, that really bad diagnostics, uh, di mm -hmm. diagnostics to come in or a diagnosis to come in mm -hmm. um, going on. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of things, a lot of times people will wait until it's like the really worst case scenario and it's harder to, to fix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until there's like no other choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So could yeah. you explain, um, could you explain biofeedback? Some, somebody had put in the comments, they're getting, they want biofeedback and essential oils for Christmas. I know that you also do essential oils. Can you tell us about that? Oh yeah, sure. Um, so biofeedback is basically, um, we test, so there's uni, there's uni and then there's bio. So uni mm -hmm. is one, bio is two. Um, so uni feedback would be like, an x-ray. You go in and it tells you, this is what's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. and you get diagnostics. Um, but it doesn't start doing anything to fix you while you're in the x-ray machine. It's just complete diagnostics. Um, but biofeedback is they go in, see what's going on with you diagnostically. And then we customize the frequencies that will bring you back into harmony and start bringing that correction in mm -hmm. and, we, and we start that process. So it works two ways, not just finding out what's wrong, but immediately starting to send things back. And what I like to do is when I do the consultation, I'll go over the reports with people and look to see if there's anything that I would suggest um, just to add to your normal diet or lifestyle, whether it's like grounding or go outside or be in nature or, or you know, I don't know, liver cleanses, you know, yeah. juicing, whatever, this, something physical to anchor in the frequencies that helps a lot. So it holds better. Cause again, our DNA is already set up for perfection, but th things get corroded. Things get like misinformed. Um, you know, there's, there's uh, programs, literally programs in the cells that mm -hmm. can kind of be rogue and do its own thing. And we, we got to recorrect it. I'm talking about essential oils uh, the reason why I work with essential oils is because if you're working, working with the right oil and the right company, because that's very important, um, then there is frequency in the oils. And uh, um, and basically you can use that to increase 
frequency in the physical body too. And if you're using the certain woman I was talking about, also it passes the blood barrier and the brain barrier. So it goes straight into the cells within like three or four seconds. It's, you can, I, I do live blood and I have a microscope. So I can actually test your blood right now and it will look one way. I can add an oil and you can see how much vibrance and like how your body will respond to it, which is never responded bad. I mean, it's uh, frequency is always good for the cells. So um, when I started seeing that in the microscope, I'm like, wow, this stuff is like magic. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, that's kind of why I started working and really specialize in aromatherapy and frequency, anything frequency, I'm on it. And that's kind of like my passion. Yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, frequency is everything. There is a frequency for everything. And through your through your clients or the or just what you see in general can you are there like a few kind of like really common things that Ooh, yeah. really yeah could you could you share <laughs> yeah um i would say weight stress mm -hmm. sleep libido can you guys think of anything <laughs> If you, I would love to see your comments, but, but yeah, those are probably the top ones. Can you think of anything, Lily? Like, what do you, what would you th say? That, would that you like say? lowers your vibration or messes with you? Um, oh, that, oh, I th I'm sorry. I thought you were saying what was like the most thing that people come to me for. Oh, that's awesome though, too. That's a, uh, yeah, I guess I was uh, asking like, what are some common things that, so basically kind of same thing, stress lowers it. Um, and what else? All kinds of oh, things. What lowers frequency? Yeah. No, what do you? Yeah. I'm what so do you? Think? I misunderstood. Yeah. So stress lowers frequency. Um, dead food lowers frequency. Um, Debbie Downer people, low vibe people, lower frequency. Um, music can have low frequency. Um, EMFs can bring our frequency down. The chemtrails and all that stuff can be a problem. Oh, wait. Can you guys see me? It looks like Lily froze. Or is, am I frozen? Oh, my gosh. Are you still there? <gasps> can anyone see me? I'm sorry. I thought, oh, my goodness. I think she went away. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Lisa said I'm fine. So it must be Lily. Lily must be stuck. Lily's, you guys send good vibes to Lily. Lily's frozen. So yeah, um, any questions you guys might have? You guys are become the interviewer now. Let's do this. Y'all's podcast. Hi, Kitty. She's going to try again. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Uh, Wi-Fi, tap water, yes. Dead food, people. Um, I don't know. Some of you guys have probably been on the phone or like saw the phone ring and you see the caller ID and you go, oh my God, I'm not even going to do this today. Like those kind of people are literally, you can see it on a camera too. You can see how they take energy. They cannot create their own energy. So they have to survive off of other people's. Um, I do a lot of scalar waves with my soul audit and we test uh, where people are on the map of consciousness. And if you're under 50, um, those are the people, well, really under 200, under 100, those kind of numbers are really not good um, for scalar waves or for, I'm sorry, for map of consciousness or scalar waves. Um, that is the whole manipulation type thing, um, survival, like kind of greedy liars, that kind of stuff, that kind of vibe. And they literally have to manufacture, uh, they cannot manufacture their own or generate their own frequency. So they kind of siphon from people, um, which isn't fun. Yeah. Uh, hey, Robert. Okay. I want that. Yeah. Lisa says, I want that. Yes. There is a dog behind me. Animals are very high frequency. Um, going back to frequency, we have cats that per 157 megahertz. Um, yeah, horses are high vibe and their field is huge. Dolphins are, have a huge field. Our field, most average field that I test 
can be anywhere from two to four feet, maybe five sometimes. There she is. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're going with the flow. We said we were going with the flow, right? Someone was asking about um, frequency and I was just going into more frequency stuff. No, yeah, that's awesome. I heard you talking about um, pets being high frequency and that was actually something that like my guides and in the star beings taught me was like, you know, cuddle with your cat, play with your cat and, you know, and you're connecting with that Lyran for your, for you Lyrans out there. <laughs> oh, sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, I was curious about the, like the entities and things like that, like negative attachments. What, what do you see? Like what can cause that to come in? <laughs> Good question. You have great questions. Um, Entities can come in if you participate in anything 25 and below. Mm. So all kinds of recreational drugs, uh, cigarettes, chemicals like pharmaceutical chemicals, chemicals like cleaning supplies in your house, uh, paint, uh, any of those like Febrezes and detergents and all of that is dead and also toxic. So it will... Um, cause hormone disruption as well, and mm -hmm. also change up the field. Um, perfumes or any kind of sprays, they literally shift and disrupt the hormones. So you, now you're projecting a different code in the field and you'll start collecting and magnetizing people to you that are that vibe, which mm -hmm. is mixed up. So a lot of times when people quit the chemicals, quit all the perfumes, um, they start to see their true mate come in and they're actually can find someone that's compatible instead of maybe someone who's a lower vibe or like an angry vibe or a manipulative vibe or whatever. Um, you know, I'm all about finding you know, your highest and everything, whether it's your job or uh, uh, people that you're hanging out with or definitely your partner. Um, yeah. So, you know, keeping everything high vibe is what goes out. And it also magnetizes and comes back in. That's the bio field. They call it bio field because it's electric and it's also magnetic. It has a, a dual form. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the head, uh, your thoughts are mostly radiating out. They do magnetize a little bit, but this is the bigness magnet. And uh, whatever you're feeling and what you're focused on with that feeling, you'll bring more to your field, whether it's two feet or 20 feet, you'll bring them in. So being really careful what you're thinking about, what you're talking about, and definitely what you're feeling. But then your cells have their own projection. Their, your organs have a projection. And all of that code goes into the field and radiates out, but also magnetizes back in. So yeah, we get what we are. Yeah, that's, uh, that's incredible. And that's actually, so whenever the star beings uh, started showing up and communicating with me and I, I, I began communicating with the universe and it's crazy because the universe will communicate back with you real, like real quick and it will show you, you know, it's very, it, there's intelligence all around us, but um, the law of attraction, they were, they started teaching me the law of attraction. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, okay, extraterrestrials are teaching me the law of attraction. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> right yeah. Now. So that that is it's a it's a huge huge piece. And also, do you have a list of like things that you can use instead of perfume and chemicals? <laughs> from, I like, do. Oh. If you go to my website, I have essential oils. Someone was asking about essential oils. I have right now. I'm doing like a there's a kit you can get. And I can maybe send it to you and you can post it or something. Um, but it comes with like $250 worth of oils, um, which are all really good for first aid. Um, and you're, you also get like a diffuser. So you, it's a special diffuser that diffuses out that won't um, take, won't um, break down from the oils. Cause a lot of oils job is to break down anything synthetic. So most oils are not even real, but if you have a real oil, you don't want to put it in plastic because it'll basically um, break down the plastic and then you're drinking that plastic. So you don't want to diffuse it in plastic. You don't want to drink and, and like, you don't want to put it like I drink my green juice every day. I would never put an oil in here because it would break down the plastic and then I would have to drink that. And that's a major 
hormone disruptor. So glass or ceramic and or this special diffuser. But yeah, we're doing a special right now. Anybody who gets that kit, I'm also doing a free bioscan, long distance bioscan and a consultation, which is normally like $222. But everything, including like I do training and all that is $165 plus shipping right now. So it's like really a good deal. Yeah. Great Christmas. Great Christmas. And yeah. Yeah. That's so incredible. for those of y'all who are asking, that's, you can go to my website or just inbox me on Facebook or oh, there we go. The picture, um, Instagram messenger, Twitter, Facebook messenger. I can send you a quick link and it's really easy to get. And I love to train people, coach people, explain all that. I want my mandate. I would love to see like millions of people walking in their purpose whether you're a fireman or a police officer, you know, just feeling good about life and doing your best and living your best life. And if this is something you want to learn for your family or your children or your communities, then I love to train people. So they're doing, you guys are doing what I do wherever you are. Cause I'm not where you are and we need all the people possible. Yeah. 100%. That's amazing. Yeah. We got to teach, 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 teach. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I wanted to ask about, uh, remembering our sovereignty, because that's basically what you're just talking about. But Jay just put in a question I wanted to get to real quick. Um, thank you for the super sticker. Speaking of low vibes, I just joined the army and the gauntlet of shots I got totally brought me down. What can I do to help? In infantry leads the way. So I guess first shots. All, yes. First of all, Jay, thank you for your service. Love you so much. That I mean, I just... Uh, my son is a ranger. My dad was military. I have such a heart for vets and active members. And um, I tell you what, Jay, if you contact me, I will do a free scan on you. And just just out of me blessing another vet, um, that'll help a lot. Um, but yeah, detoxing as much as possible. There's so many foods that'll help detox. Juicing will help detox. Any of these oils will help detox. There's a lot of different things that we can do to help get kind of some of this out. Mm -hmm. But oh, zeolites too. If you text me, I can send you a link to some zeolites. They're just on Amazon, but I want to make sure you get the right one. I, I can't hold it up or anything. I don't have mm -hmm. it with me, but um, mm -hmm. zeolites will get out the heavy metals and that mm -hmm. helps a lot too. So yeah, that's Great awesome. question. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I just recently did, I've been doing my first uh, parasite cleanse and Ooh, I was just, for you. yeah. <laughs> and I was just thinking about uh, doing um, a heavy metal one. So that's awesome. Y'all yeah, get that, have to get that link off of you. Well, since you brought up parasites, I'm going to say this too. That is a good, um, a good segue into this. Parasites have their own frequency. So mm -hmm. whether it's energetic parasites or um you know off planet parasite uh, there's all kinds of parasites right but mm -hmm. if you have physical parasites like worms or you know whatever a parasite candida fungus anything living and alive that's using you as a host then that actually sends a code out into the field that you are a good victim cancel clear so awesome. you so that code goes into the field. And then when you're surrounded by other people, whoever those people are, when you're doing your day to day, you start collecting abusers and or people who take advantage because they will only submit to your lowest common denominator. So if you are low vibe because you have parasites and you're hosting those parasites, mm -hmm. then they, they're not on purpose. Some of them are very on purpose. As we know, they are not so great people out there, but then they're, they're just average Joe that can only submit to your code and they don't even know what they're doing, but they're just taking advantage. So mm -hmm. even those physical things, um, I'm, you're really on top of things. I love, I love that you're like ahead of the game here working mm -hmm. on yourself and clearing all this stuff. Oh my goodness. That's all I've <laughs> since the, since the UFOs came, that's all I've been doing is clearing, well, healing. <laughs> I really, I got to hear your story. I got to, I'm excited to get you on. Awesome. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, they've, they've given me the crash course. So that's, that's mostly, yeah. And that's, that's what I'm really passionate about is also healing. I, yeah, I can't even say how much heal, how much healing work. It's just been constant. Um, but you get up to that next level 
And like even through this parasite cleanse, and I guess parasites are a pretty common thing. So probably we all have some sort of, you know, something living inside of us. Um, even from doing that, I am starting to notice that my thoughts in my way of thinking is changing. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I'm also, you know, deliberately, you know, writing things out, planning things. Anytime I say something that's kind of negative or I get some anxiety or stress about something, you know, I always try to stop myself and rewrite it because you're programming yourself each and every single day. But yeah, the, uh, the parasites, I'm excited because I, I feel like it is helping just in this past week. I think that was kind of what my biggest aha of just even working with the oils for trauma for myself and the stuff that was going on is um, when I started detoxing physically and also removing what, whatever was going on with the, the trauma because frequency mm -hmm. will move, move that out and transmute it. Um, my intuition spiked. I mean, mm -hmm. my, all the technology that's in the DNA whether it's by locating or knowing other people's thoughts or being able to feel more or whatever, everything heightens as you clear. So mm -hmm. whether it's physical parasites or detoxing heavy metals, you know, what are all the things that aren't supposed to be there cleaning out whatever clean supplies and exchanging it and putting in something else um, mm -hmm. that is beneficial to you. Uh, all those things, the more that we can add good things into what we already have here, that's built pretty good with source. Yeah. Uh, that DNA gets really sharp and everything just seems so much more easy. You know, your energy is up, your metabolism is up, your immunity is up, you feel happy, you know, you, and, and then there's this ripple effect because if you're happy, that goes into the field, you collect happy people, then you're happier. And then, you know, it just keeps going. You get the good job, you get the finances, all the things coming in. You know, I, I say this in my book, it's like, you can't pee in the pool and hope it doesn't get everywhere. There's no smoking section when it comes to like energy. Like if, if you got a bad situation with partnership, a hundred percent guarantee it's going on in every part of your life, not just in partnership, but physically, mentally, spiritually, in every area, whether it's your job or whatever. So mm -hmm. um, I think with Western medicine, everything is really segmented and they're like, oh, let's work on the knee and let's mm -hmm. make this knee feel differently by doing this thing specific to the knee where I like look at things like you do, where we're looking at the whole body. We just want right. everything to work and to be sharp. And, and then there's the whole collective too, which I know is a big focus for you of, you know, just helping the masses and mm -hmm. getting everybody, you know, to a higher ascending code, you know, so we can be in a better place and have a tipping point here where we can actually like do some good stuff. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you're even affecting, you know, the the people in your neighborhood, the people, you know, your family. It can be a process. You know, the first year, my family, uh, they, <laughs> you know, they it didn't go over too well with the the whole UFO thing. But now, um, you know, it just it takes a little bit of time. But, yeah, you're affecting everybody around you, even if you don't realize it. Um, yeah. It yeah, can definitely, definitely be a, a process um, with, you know, going through some of the things that we have um, traumatic stuff and, mm -hmm. or just your, like you said, your friends of just being like, okay, I knew you Lily as this person and now you're having this thing going on and like, that's weird to me and that's uncomfortable. And, you know, mm -hmm. people, if they can't relate, you know, things can happen, but Mm -hmm. The more we clear and the more we waste frequency, then we start finding each other in that same vibe. Like I, Matthew's on here. Uh, God, love him. High vibe, dude. Really pure hearted. Robert is a new friend. You know, we have lots of great, great people. And look at, we found each other. We're all these guys here. I mean, you, none of you are here by accident. We're here because we are, we, we attracted each other and we're in this experience right now. And it's just fun if we look at it fun and if we make it fun, mm -hmm. but if we see it a different way with like that half empty kind of thing, that's when things get, get kind of south. Right. Right. And um, it's, I wanted to comment on something that somebody sassy said, you would love to a uh, detox. You have extreme trauma that makes 
that induces seizures. I will say that I had a seizure right after the SSP conference, a, a grand mal seizure. They're terrifying. Um, okay. And I, yeah, very, very traumatic. But I started taking CBD, which that's how uh, Hopewell Farms, who is in the chat, and then there's a link for their uh, CBD in the description, but that helped me a lot, taking CBD. It helps with the seizures. Awesome. Yeah. And somebody asked, and Walking Lightly asked, is it easier to clear physical parasites than astral parasites? What are your thoughts on astral parasites? Well, astral parasites cannot come in unless you give it permission. Mm. Uh, again, so, you know, to clear it, you have to raise frequency. If you raise frequency there, there's no entry point. Um, you know, like when you see like a plug-in in the wall, if you see a plug and the plug-in, you know, once you increase frequency, there's no plug anymore. Entities cannot plug into you anymore if you are a high vibe because they have to lower themselves to get to you. You come up higher, there's no entry point. So mm -hmm. um, they go hand in hand. Everything is hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, exactly. And um, a lot of that, as we're raising our vibration, we have to we have to clear, like we were just talking about, clear and heal that trauma because that creates like a doorway, if you will, for these things to get in. Um, even with me, like I, I've been making another leap since I uh, moved, um, developing new abilities and things like that. Then I gained some memories back of uh, being in Orion and, and some reptilian trauma, gained these oh, no. memories back. Yeah, <laughs> it was rough. It was like, it was a rough um, two or three weeks after that, actually, because then I was like working through those emotions and, and healing. And at first I was trying to kind of resist the feeling, the, mm -hmm. the emotions and things, putting up protection, just kind of resisting it, pretending it's not there or, you know, just trying to get away from it. It wasn't until I changed my um, perception and my focus to not trying to avoid it or resist it, but just heal it. And then it started yeah. to go away. <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah. Everything that we depress, <laughs> suppress, um, oppress is going to get stored in the body and it'll stay dormant until however long, but eventually it'll start trying to come out one way or another, whether it's like a trigger charge, mm -hmm. like anger reaction and, or there can be a physical symptom depending on where it is in the body. Um, it'll start showing inflammation or something, which, you know, we're taught in the Western world, to just deal again with that issue and in, in more global um, perspective would be let's find the root of the issue and let's transmute that out so we can you know have a better day and not have to deal with side effects from pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. so um mm -hmm. so yeah i can see where there would be um yeah you you've been through a little bit here and yeah you might have to get a scan too i'll do a scan on you <laughs> <laughs> you want <laughs> I would, I would love that. Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be amazing. And I feel like, like we were just saying, some of these things, they, they can get stored like deep in the body. So it's like, as you're getting up to that next level, maybe something that wasn't even bothering me before suddenly oh it is God. because it's, it's, it's like coming out. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Also, this is your frontal lobe and behind that your limbic system. And that's like the librarian of your emotions. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about this earlier. Um, we're bombarded with traumatizing things like constantly, and especially in the last three years, there's been like a really strategic, if you haven't figured that out yet, like plot for that. But even before that, you know, whether it's like a coach making fun of you at school, or you're bullied or, you know, a stepmom or dad or like a divorce situation, you know, there's just life. And then there's like abuse. And then there's like sudden events, like if you fall off a horse or got into a wreck or something, you know, uh, there's a lot of different things that cause trauma to stick. Mm -hmm. And we usually defrag from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. If you're not sleeping, you're not going to defrag that stuff out. But the limbic system mm -hmm. is what holds and then clears. And a lot of times if there's extra stick, like, let's say like an authoritative figure did something for the fifth time and it was still shocking, then there's like triple threat hold to that specific trauma and mm -hmm. basically the librarian that limbic system says you know what i think this is too much so i'm going to go ahead and shelf this for now and i'm going to put this 
right here. Mm -hmm. And it may be like a knee or a thyroid or an elbow or wherever, and it'll sit dormant. It could sit like years. It could sit weeks. It, you know, we don't know, understand the timing of why things stay or don't stay or activate or don't activate. But just like you were mentioning, you can like run into a situation that's kind of similar and all of a sudden there's a trigger and it could trigger you mentally and emotionally, or it may not do that at all, but it can trigger the, the physical body to start doing a symptom. And again, we look at it and go, okay, let's go get a doctor. We're going to get some pain medicine. It's going to turn this off. Um, but it doesn't deal with the root It's still there. So it'd be kind of like if you had a car that needed oil or an oil change, you know, and the light goes on and it blinks and it does all this stuff and it's really annoying. And you brought it to someone said, Hey, can you change my oil out? And they're like, you know what? Better idea. I'm going to unplug this sound and take this light out and that won't annoy you anymore. But you drive off the lot, <laughs> you're going to have some problems because the car will blow up. Right. So yeah. Looking at root issues is huge. And I like using frequency because you don't have to sit there and talk about it. You don't have to rehash it. You don't have to let your body relive it. It just goes past the olfactory system right into the limbic system and it starts moving things out. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to think about it, talk about it. It's just like moved. And now mm -hmm. when you're put in those situations, you find yourself responding differently and you're just like, wow, that used to really bother me. And now I'm like, whatever, peace, you know, it's like, yeah, versus like, ah, or crying or freaking out. And then with you, like, I don't know if you've experienced this, but for me, I started having memories bleed through mm -hmm. and that was like, not, you know, it was like, that was like, I didn't know if I was going to make it honestly. Mm -hmm. And most of, a lot of people don't make it. They off themselves or, you know, use, substances to not think about it or feel it or remember it. So mm -hmm. um, it's very traumatizing for anyone who had MK ultra or reduction, anything like mm -hmm. that to, to kind of synthesize yeah. and like move it. And so frequency is a really good way to move it out without having to relive it. Um, I know regression is really popular, but talking about it can actually cause more problems. So this is a simple, gentle, fun way to kind of move things mm -hmm. without like, any charge if that makes sense. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I feel like that kind of happened whenever I gained those uh, reptilian Orion memories back because then they're scary. They're scary. Yeah. yeah. And that was, um, that I, I feel like my guides and the star beings, they've kept me pretty well protected. And there, are, there are things that I've tried digging into like memories and things, but they're like, Nope. In <laughs> uh, with the whole, yeah, the whole Orion war thing that that was really my first like you know experience with it and i was like holy crap you know this stuff it, it just became that much more real and um you know because you hear about these things and actually like seeing it and feeling it was pretty crazy so i feel like it kind of like re-triggered some things um but then you know i was able to work through them with my with my clients that i do star origins readings for sometimes the the star beings they'll show me like a blippet of a little memory or they'll show me like what it had to do with just very very big big um or sometimes they'll just say it has to do with this for an example orion wars clear just clear and heal that and i'm like well they don't need to know specifically what was so traumatic and a lot of the time they're like no and even for me they're like no you don't need to you know dig it back up but just set the intention on healing it that's true. That's really good. Yeah. Pretty wild. Whenever you add the past life stuff in there, it's like, woo, or parallel life. <laughs> exactly. Because we have genetic memory. So, I mean, you're me, I'm you, you know, that's the whole thing. And, and, uh, like and how you were saying that, because even like recently I've been doing, um, I did, um, not too long ago, a Lyran Wars healing transmission. And I needed to do another Orion one, but different things. Because even if you didn't specifically live through that, it's affecting all of us. You know, it affects all of us. So we just, we have to heal it. It's true. Yeah. Right. So DNA, that's one of my favorite topics. I would love kind of like your take on DNA. Um, whenever the, the UFOs first started showing up, that's and this is before I really like knew anything. They were showing me DNA in the clouds. They would make 
you know, I'd see the UFOs, I'd see these strands of DNA and te telepathic communication was beginning. They're basically like your DNA is very important. And that's like the number one thing that they had me focus on. And I'm still very, very focused on is activating um, your DNA because then you activate all of these new gifts and it's, it's also like unique to the individual, what types of, uh, gifts I think, well, it depends on kind of your, your past lives, who you've been also, you know, everybody's a unique individual, but we have all of this untapped potential and things become easier. Life becomes easier. Things manifest more quickly. It's like, I don't know. It's crazy. So I would just love, I guess, your take on, on DNA. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, DNA, we, they call it, you know, they call junk DNA or mm -hmm. dormant DNA. They say that we have 3% that we use, mm -hmm. um, are apparently 3% in the brain. And then right. there's like 3% discovered in the universe as like space. So I, I find it funny how like as below or as above, so below, like there's yeah. that correlation there, but, um, so I wonder if we discovered more space, if that we would use our brains more or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. I wonder how that really works. But mm -hmm. yeah, minerals are huge. Enzymes are huge on a physical for activating the DNA. Of course, there's meditations and things like that. Music, frequency, again, those those are activations. Um, but yeah, minerals are key. And they used to be in the food. And mm -hmm. so were enzymes. They've depleted the soil and they... Um, they've completely robbed us on food, how they, how food is even prepared, how food is grown, you know, pesticides, herbicides, all those things that affects the DNA. And then all the chemicals, chemtrails, you know, all that affects, you know, hormone disruptors and, and the DNA. I mean, there's obviously the thing that they do and the arm, all this stuff is mm -hmm. opportunity to kind of shift things and change who we are as God and us. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, cause we should all be doing amazing things. Supernatural things should be normal. Um, mm -hmm. I talk about some of the crazy things that have happened in my book, as far as bilocating and people saying that I gave them a card that I wrote somewhere else when I was in another state or things like that. It's like, that should be normal. You know, that mm -hmm. shouldn't be a second guess, uh, transporting, um, mm -hmm. bilocating, uh, healing our body really quickly. You know, all lots of things, intuition, you know, remote healing, me talking to someone just telepathically uh, and, or hearing someone telepathically. Those things are, as you know, if you've dealt with anything off planet, they don't mm -hmm. have to use a cell phone to talk there. Mm -hmm. You're quiet. You don't use words. Everything is telepathic because mm -hmm. they're at a higher frequency. And then they raise us up in that frequency to even talk to us or have that conversation. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, as we clear, as we detox, as we transmute, and as we get rid of chemicals in the body and in the house and clear things up and clean things up and really get sharp, use minerals, take front loads of enzymes. Um, that's what really brings healing and high frequency to the body to be able to really step, step into this and tap into it and be like amazing, be superheroes. We're all superheroes and we should be functioning in that every day. 100 <laughs> percent should be every day all the time it should be normal yeah definitely and what so you mentioned the enzymes what types of like enzymes or supplements do you suggest that I you have, found helpful <laughs> yeah i've done testing for over a decade on not only essential oils but supplements mm -hmm. and I, ha I just did a whole um four garbage bags full of supplement test third th three blind study tests last year during the time where everybody was off i'm like well i might as well do some research so mm -hmm. so yeah uh, that's all that on, is on my website lot there's lots right. of different things um unfortunately a lot of these companies that i used to use have been bought out yeah um, so like tom's has been bought out um pure supplements have been bought out by nestle of all oh, things. no, no yeah. way. Um, Burt Bees has been sold. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the bigger name that we used to be able to rely on for a good source of something healthy and natural mm -hmm. instead of synthetic. Um, so, you know, I'm getting very picky. Yeah. Um, I'm a purist. And so I use basically what's on my website. But, um, and I get people all the time like, will you do 
this testing on this oil or whatever. I've done my testing. I've done my research. I paid Buku money and worked with three doctors to do it. And at this point, I'm like, I'm sold. I'm, I'm good with what I'm doing. And mm -hmm. you guys either research on your own or take mm -hmm. my suggestions or do whatever you feel, you know, you know, you t you're supposed to do. But, um, mm -hmm. but I did look at the physical stuff too, because again, integrity is mind, body, spirit. It's an integration of the whole thing. And we, we, you know, you can't pee over here and hope it doesn't get over here. You can't smoke over there and hope it doesn't affect everything. Everything affects everything. You mm -hmm. affect me. We all affect one another. And as we come up, everything you do for yourself and you, you're actually healing everybody because yeah. we are one. Mm -hmm. Yep, 100%. So that's the best thing that we could do right now is, you know, healing, healing ourselves and just focusing on our ourselves. Well, of course, giving to others, but, you know, like what you just said, whenever you do that, it affects everybody else. And Shannon mentioned something I, I actually wanted to ask your thoughts on. Um, she said, say out loud, I choose to be unaffected negatively or adversely by anything I put into, onto, or surround any of my bodies over the next 24 hours. So be it. And so it is. Because you hear about, um, yeah, I was wondering if your if your mind, you can kind of reprogram yourself to not be negatively you know, affected by some of these things. What are kind of your th thoughts on that? Well, Shannon, um, I, I get the vibe of what, what you're saying. And also when you enter in negativity in a sentence, then there's a frequency to that word. So it kind of mm -hmm. takes away. It's like two steps forward and one step back. A simple um, decree that would be clear is mm -hmm. uh, only God touches me, only God sees me, only God hears me, or I am that I am or something along that line where it's a radiation out and there's no sub subtraction at all in, in the frequency of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love only God touches me, only God sees me, or I am the ascended Jesus Christ, permanent light, love and victory already attained in my body, in my soul, in my spirit. And when I say Jesus Christ, I'm talking about Jesus Christ consciousness. Yeah. Um, if you, if you will, um, you know, there's a lot of different decrees out there that are more streamlined with mm -hmm. high vibe that wouldn't have like this, this effect to it. Um, conscious language is really, really important for sure. But I love, I love the idea of the decrees that the intention is very supportive. But again, you can have the intention to get in a car and not have an accident. Um, but wearing seatbelt is a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you know, there's some things that are just like, you wouldn't jump off a cliff and have the intention that I'm going to be saved. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, some of the people who decided to do this, because I really believe that there was like campaigns, um, energetically, um, voice to God tech, or people were just coming up with, Oh, I think I should do this. It's fine. Yeah. And there, you know, cause the sentences were exact. And, um, so a lot of people did it and th just thought, oh, that won't be a problem. Well, look how many people are having problems. So mm -hmm. attention is powerful, but also physical things, again, integration, mind, body, spirit, everything working together towards one, one thing instead of, you know, like I'm going to crash my car on purpose, but I have my seatbelt on, you know, so mm -hmm. does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah, that totally makes sense. Um, and you know, you hear about people have talked about like blessing their food or changes the vibration of their water with their words, their thoughts and intentions. Um, but yeah, I totally get how you'd still want to <laughs> want, you know, take more care of the physical thing. And I also wanted to comment on that was a really good point for saying like not using the word like negatively um or negative, because I've even real I've experienced this myself where you know I may want to put up protection or or something like that or I'm doing something but I brought something negative up and then it it's like it's there and I'm like well it yep. wasn't even there until I like thought of it <laughs> yep and there's code to that there's code to area so there, everything is equations everything's code so the minute you bring in a negative equation you're you're sub literally subtracting from the field so like everyone do not think about pink elephants right now. Okay. Don't think yeah. about how big they are or how pink they are or how big their pink ears are. If everyone could just take five seconds and not think about pink elephants. And of course, everyone's now envisioning pink elephants, right? So that's, mm -hmm. 
it's it's hard to uh, cancel clear. It's it's fun and easy to rescript a decree that would have a clean um, a clean ride on it, like a a good path for takeoff here, a launch without any bumps or subtractions. Yeah, a hundred percent. And Bear said. Only those whose intentions are of pure love and for my highest and greatest good are welcome to join me. I really like that. That doesn't say, you know, I'm like protecting myself from the negative beings that are trying, you know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I think that the program too is, I know in the church program, you know, spiritual warfare and, you know, all this stuff. It's like, if you walk in a room, you don't have to fight. You just have to you get the choice to be and to radiate love. That's it. You don't need to fight anything or shoot at anything or tear down strongholds or all these like weird things that we've done in the past. It's like, just turn the freaking lights on, just blaze, you know, just radiate. And I look at it kind of like a sponge that takes on every single thing that comes along versus a radiating sun. The sun just shines it doesn't take a day off. You know, you could throw mm -hmm. stones at the sun. It's not going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to dim my light. You know, you can be mad at the sun. The clouds can even come in between and kind of block. And you can think, well, maybe the sun's not there. The sun's still there. So, mm -hmm. you know, we can be that radiating sun and we can be blazing in love, truth, all the good code to just blaze it out, which will therefore attract it back to us. And or we can have the victim role of like, oh man, you know, something can get me at any corner and oh mm -hmm. shit, I hope this and the boogeyman and entities and all that stuff, it brings in the equation because now you've thought about it and now you've mm -hmm. brought that into your field just by thinking about it. Right. Yeah. But then that, and that's tough. Like whenever those reptilian memories came back recently, then I was like, <laughs> you know, like I, I had to like still work through that, but, but yeah, what you focus on is what you create. But I feel like sometimes I guess we do have to, you know, go through um, the process of that. But yeah, that is very, very helpful. I like that. Being specific, setting your intentions, um, you know, changing your language, being that light. Yeah. Really good comments. Love it. Love it. Um, what you focus on, you create. Yes. I always say what you focus on, you make room for. So. Mm -hmm. You know, as we, um, good one, Shannon, like that. Yeah. And we're built to create, we are creators, we're manifestors, you know, and energetically mm -hmm. and physically. And so there isn't anything new under the sun. It's already been created. It's already in here. It's just us making the actual physical steps to bring it out and to create it. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. We're supposed to have fun here. It's supposed yeah. to be fun and easy. We're supposed to play and not work. I mean, all of these programs that have taught us, you got to work and you got to do all this stuff. Yes, there's physical stuff involved and there's daily tasks and all that, but we can choose to make it fun and easy. I know, right? Um, just recently, some of the uh, my Pleiadian star family has been like, they'll like, it's like they telepathically send me an image of, well, if you look at the Pleiades kind of sideways, it looks like a smiley face. I have a picture of it, a picture that I took in my room. It looks so every time I look at it, it makes me happy because it looks like a smiley face. And then they'll like send me that image sometimes whenever I'm kind of like stressing or kind of worrying about something. And they're they're reminding me like, smile, this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what they've been helping me with the uh the the last week recently. It is supposed to be fun. We take things very seriously. <laughs> we do. And uh Matthew, I don't know if Matthew's still on here, but he's really fun. He's good at helping come above all of that. And he's just I don't know, he's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Desert Daisy has how has it been an hour already? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, it has, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that went by really quick. Um, let me see. If there was a, a couple, if there was any other questions. Okay, so we talked about the DNA. Um, DNA codes can change, changes, depends on your thoughts, feelings, et cetera. We basically kind of like already talked about that, but I just uh, really like that. Um, and you mentioned on another interview, you mentioned the words, I just want to bring that as, this up real quickly, but the word Ecuador on like a supplement or something uh, yeah. was causing like a triggering response. 
Um, so that's just wild that even the words on, in labels on our bottles and on, you know, everything is really, really affecting us. To, so to be, you know, mindful of that. Yeah, what she's referring to is I needed a certain vitamin, but when Dr. Lucky gave it to me, it made, he tested me with it and it instantly made me weak. And it was like something that I'd taken before. I had no knowledge of why I would be weak to it. Mm -hmm. My body obviously needed it. So he was like, is it the label? Is it the words on the label? Is it the color of the label? And he would just keep testing, testing, testing. He went to each and every individual word on the ingredients, on the, um, just on the, and anything. And what came up, like you said, was Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And there was, I had a, a NDA, uh, NDE there. Um, and it was pretty, you know, they wow. told me I wasn't going to make it and it, it was terrible, but, um, I mean, I'm clear now, mm -hmm. but once we cleared that, then I was able to take that medicine. But how many things are we putting on our body every day that we don't even know that could be weakening us? And so I'm like super hyper-focused on like words on shirts or what mm -hmm. they represent, or even like fingernail polish, which I don't really wear anymore because it's not really good for your lungs or your body. But mm -hmm. you know how they come up with those really cute names of things, or sometimes it's like weird names that are kind of like, ooh, I don't want to put that on me, you know, or whatever. Yeah. You know? But yeah, thanks for bringing that up because words are very, very powerful and can affect the physical body, even when we don't know, you know, we could just right. be feeling weak and have zero idea why, mm -hmm. uh, why we're fatigued or why this issue is happening or why we're crying or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, and something that the star beings were showing me and source was inspiring me to do. Um, I made my merch shop. I started my merch shop almost a year, year ago. I, uh, you know, got it up for last Christmas. I wanted to make shirts with affirmations because even, yes. you know, wearing them and even just yes. people reading it, yes. people are going to read your shirt. And yes. if it says like, I am happy or, yes. you know, just things like that, you're kind of almost tricking them into raising their yes. vibration. <laughs> yes. It's literally helping the planet. Yeah. You know, it's helping you and your physical body. And then also everywhere you go, people are maybe not even mentally reading it, but mm -hmm. we're, we're recording all the time. We're recording every billboard, every song, mm -hmm. everybody who says everything, everyone who's way over there, you know, we don't necessarily, that's what we defrag. Like we're stimulated so much information, but from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., we get rid of like the lady at the checkout had a green shirt that had a frog on it or whatever. It's like that kind of goes away during that time. So we can't keep all of it. You know, we don't mm -hmm. need to keep all of it. But yeah, those kind of things can be subtle, but also very powerful, extremely mm -hmm. powerful. So I love that you're doing merch like that. I love that. I did the yeah. whole thing too. I had a whole shop for a while that said like, you know, I am powerful mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. I am love and I stay and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, that's great. You're doing that. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Here's one of the, um, the newer designs. It says Starseed Envoy on it. It's got a. So cute. <laughs> I love the colors. So clean. I love the branding. All, all of it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that's a, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to help a lot. Um, and I guess that was, do you have, do you kind of have anything else that you'd like to share? Or does anybody have any questions also, uh, before we, you know, wrap it up? Thank you, Vera. And thank you for the, uh, the super chat. I saw that too. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I think someone was asking about eating animals and vegans and stuff like that. Um, if you've ever studied what, um, not Royal Rife, um, Baxter, Clive Baxter, they hooked up, um, vegetables that were being cut and they scream when they're being cut. Oh gosh. Yeah. So yeah, they're just alive as everything else. There's no, like, you know, some people cannot be vegan some people can't do meat, you know, so you got to go with what you got, but either way, everything's alive. They even like cut a vegetable and had vegetables next to it. And they would test the vegetables next to it that were watching the other thing being murdered and they were screaming. So uh, same thing with like shrimp, boiling shrimp, you know, we have these shrimp that were alive, these shrimp that are being boiled, 
and both of them are screaming because they're mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, just like if someone came in the room with all of us there and just started hurting one of us, we would all be freaking out. We feel it, mm -hmm. you know, we physically can feel it, like, especially if you're an empath. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's one question that's so funny that people are going to be really excited to hear about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. And being a nutritionist, and you see some people, even some people in the in the the spiritual community, um, I have gone on to like an all meat diet and it has helped their health tremendously. And being a nutritionist, I know that everybody is different. I've tried going vegan and it literally was not, it wasn't, it I I couldn't function. It wasn't good for me. <laughs> um, but you know, being mindful of what you are eating, definitely. Um, being grateful, appreciating, and you just want to make sure that you're getting your food from, you know, better sources. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, everybody's different and people, some people, yeah, everybody's different. So everybody's diet is going to be different as well. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Michelle. Okay. Let's see oh, if there was any question. When the grass is cut. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I don't know if I see any questions. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Um, thank you for having me. And I'll definitely reach out and get you some um, some dates so we can have you on my show too. Yeah. yeah. It was super fun. I love all you guys' vibe. Really, really cool. A lot of people I don't know, a lot of people I know. So mm -hmm. thanks for just letting me be here with you guys tonight. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, you were awesome. And I'm, and everybody go check out her website. I'm going to go check out the, the list of all of the kind of supplements and oils and everything. It is like detox season. That's a big message that I've been getting. Um, even before I started the parasite cleanse, the, the starvings were telling me you're detoxing because I was feeling all these things going on. And then I was also like very tired and I'm like, what the heck is going on? So it, it seems like that's the energy supporting that right now. And it's time to detox. <laughs> right into the holiday season right why, why don't we just start now instead of wait till january like let's do it mm -hmm. got this right dreams visions all the fun things intuition increased you know who doesn't want all that like this is your inheritance this this is what you get to have like normal when yeah. we clean up yeah we're just remembering it and you know re reactivating it being able to access it i guess yes ma'am Awesome. Um, do you want to share where people can find you or any upcoming projects or anything that you would like to share with people? Yes. Uh, again, you go to swiftfire.org. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on all the platforms like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Telegram and all of that. I don't know. I think you have my links. I don't know if they're in here, but yeah, um, they're in the description. Yeah, and, and I love, I, you know, I love, how we can do these things online because I'm at home chilling and can talk to you guys all over the world. And that's cool. I don't know where everybody's from, but I really miss conferences. I know you just came back from one and mm -hmm. you know, that, that's just hugging and seeing eye contact and hanging out and eating food and breaking bread and laughing. And, you know, so if anything, if you guys um, want to just send me a quick message, if something stuck out to you and you're like, Hey, you know, I saw you on the show or whatever. I, then mm -hmm. for me, it gives me like a beeline where I could see your face and really connect. That's kind of my virtual like hug a little bit of like seeing you better instead of this little tiny comment here with a picture this big kind of deal. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, reach out and um, yeah, I'll do bio scans. I do soul audits. Definitely mm -hmm. have a lot of training for essential oils and or essential oil opportunities to get on board with that and. Would love to connect with you guys and help any way I can serve. Um, we got the show every Thursday at noon. Um, we have Robert is tomorrow, um, but Craig and I host a podcast, um, so Fire True TV. And um, yeah, I'd love for you guys to subscribe and hang out and watch some of the stuff that we've mm -hmm. been doing. And yeah, and you'll see Lily there. She's going to come hang out with us. Yeah. So, yes. Super excited. I just lost it, but uh, Sh Shannon asked what zeolite you prefer. Do you I know? I don't remember the name of it, but I have a link um, and I have it in my house, but I'd have to go look for it on the, I can't grab it okay. real quick, but I can screenshot a picture and a link to you. So you make sure and get 
the right one, but oh my God, so helpful. If we have heavy metals, we're one, we're already antennas and receptors, but mm -hmm. adding the metals amplifies. So they, when they're using a voice to God tech or any kind of 5G or anything like that, if you have heavy metals, it's like putting tin foil in a microwave. They, it's just like it cooks you from the inside out. And also they can send information as far as like thoughts in your head and things like that. So if we can detox from the heavy metals that are in food, water, those vapes and the cigarettes and all that stuff that all has like crazy stuff, the chemicals and all the cleaning supplies and all there's heavy mm -hmm. metals in so much. So yeah. the more, yeah, we can do zeolites or black charcoal, dark charcoal, charcoal or different oils and things to clear that. That's like, that's mm -hmm. a good one, Shannon. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And you have an Instagram. She can reach out. I'll, I'm going to get the link for it and I'll mention it on Sunday's yeah. live. But um, Shannon, maybe you could also reach out to her on Instagram or through a website. Yes. Okay. Well, awesome. You. Yeah, this this has been wonderful. Thank you so much. It was so lovely meeting you. And I am excited to uh, collaborate with you. And thank you, everybody who is here watching. I will see you guys. Oh, this Sunday, we are doing an Arcturian activation at 2 p.m. Central Time. So I'll be channeling the Arcturians. We will bring in the Arcturian Star Family Guides and do uh, an activation this Sunday. So hope to see you guys there. Bye. Thank you so much.